Hello everyone, this is Wade from High Tech Legion. With over a thousand videos uploaded, if you haven't seen it here, you may not have seen it anywhere. What we have for you is the OCZ 750 watt fatality series power supply. Um, this is an 80 plus bronze rated power supply and it is fully modular so you're able to put a minimal amount of cables into your system and keep everything nice and neat. So let's take a closer look at the power supply itself and talk about the features. So here we have a closer look at the OCC Fatality Series gaming power supply. This is a 750 watt model and as you can see through the uh, grill on the fan we have a clear fan in there. It is a 135 millimeter dual ball bearing fan that is thermally controlled so that it gives you the optimal noise level while providing the cooling necessary for the power supply. It is a clear fan and does have red LEDs on it. Um, being clear, we can see a little bit of the components on the inside of the power supply through it. While it's off, the red LEDs definitely will light up your system. Um, so if you're into the flashy fans, uh, you'll definitely like that. You've got your Fatality logo here in front of the fan grill and also your OCZ and Fatality branding on the side of the power supply and the 750 watts as well. On the bottom, you have the serial number as well as the OCZ and the Fatality Gaming Gear um, branding and a power chart here indicating that the 3.3 volt and the 5 volt rail each have 25 amps that can be used up to 150 watts for those rails and the 12 volt rail offers 62.5 amps up to 750 watts total for total power of 750 watts continuous power. You've also got your certifications here from all the different safety organizations and a caution not to open the cover on the power supply for risk of shock. On the back side you've got your power plug that accepts a power at 100 to 240 volts 50 to 60 Hertz and it uses 10 amps of power. And you've also got your power switch here and through the grill again you can see some of the interior components on the power supply itself. On the part of the power supply that goes into the system, you can see your modular connectors here. The top row is for your motherboard uh, power connector, your main ATX connector, and then you've got a row in the middle for peripherals, your SATA devices, as well as your four pin Molex connections if you have any of those. The bottom row is for your CPU, four plus four pin, and your PCI Express. Uh, power connections. As I said, it is an 80 plus bronze rated power supply, meaning that it's going to run 85% efficiency under most loads. It is certified for Intel fourth generation CPUs, as, in, as well CPUs, and it is 100% modular. So let's take a look at the accessories that it comes with, and then we'll show you some benchmarks. First thing you're going to see is you've got a nice heavy gauge um, power cable to go into your wall. You've got two connections for your PCI Express um, power with, for a total of four 6 plus 2 pin uh, connections. You've got two wires for SATA power, each with four SATA connections on it, so you've got eight total SATA connections possible and you also have a connection with six four pin uh, Molex on it so you can connect all your legacy devices or if you're, any of your new stuff still uses the four pin Molex you have that ability. You've got your main ATX connector which you see is nicely sleeved and it's broken into two parts that plug into the power supply and your main connector for the motherboard itself. You also have two connections with 
four plus four pin CPU connections on it, and a accessory to convert one of the four pin Molex to a floppy disk drive. If you happen to have one of those or a fan controller or some other device that requires the four pin power connection. They include a carrying case to put all the extra cables in it or all the cables in it if you happen to not be using this power supply at the time. You've got an instruction manual, a little bit of customer service information, and four power supply screws for mounting it into your case. So now let's take a look at some benchmarks. I hope you enjoyed the overview and benchmarks for the OCZ 750 watt fatality power supply. As you can see it performed pretty well and there was very little ripple in the voltage while it was tested under high load. It definitely could stand up to long gaming sessions which is what it's designed for. For the full review please see www.hitechlegion.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube, Facebook and Twitter pages. Take care.